Hello everyone, and welcome back to Melee Mondays. And what we're doing now is heading over to Morgantown Airport. It's spawned me- where is it actually- I loaded back in- okay, I, I left last time at Vault 76, and it's loading me back in by the isolated cabin. So it's, it's actually saved us a bit of a journey, I guess. So, yeah, I guess we're going just by, you yeah, know, by Landview Lighthouse. We'll likely go slightly north of it. But we'll just have to see what we encounter along the path. Is this a... I've not seen this before. This is, um, a little strange. It's like a little monument with a whole bunch of caps on it. Okay, so we're going to just defile this monument and take the caps away. But yeah, that's... It's like a person carved out of there, and is that supposed to be an alien or a shaman or what? Okay, I don't know what this place is. It's kind of weird. I'm leaving. I'm just leaving it for now. It's fine. We'll just pretend it doesn't exist. I'm just running away. <laughs> Alright, we come close enough to this feral ghoul that we're going to need to deal with him. Let's use bats, because bats lets you charge forwards a bit, which is quite nice. And, oh, we are quite close to level 6 now, aren't we? Oh, and look at this. There's some Radaway here. Radaway, I find, isn't that useful in the early game. I mean, obviously it's useful, but you don't need it a ton. Once you get to the end game, you need so much Radaway. Like, I need to look into what other options there are to remove Rads. If anyone knows other ways to get rid of Rads other than Radaway, let me know. Especially out on the go, because that is a problem I've run into on my main character. Ooh, and now it's telling me to claim a workshop. Workshops are something really cool that I like in the game, and hey, I've leveled up! Nice. Let's actually open this perk card pack, and then I'll get into talking about workshops. Because, yes, I would like to open the perk card pack very much, please, and prepare a feast 5 out of 5. The game's a little bit funny with what it gives you, but nice. Got rank 2 of Action Boy, got some Butcher's Bounty and stuff like that. We are going to go for even more strength. Because we can always do with more damage. And we've got Slugger unlocked, which means I can deal melee damage. Um, okay, I'm just seeing what perks I can use. Because Butcher's Bounty, I might as well put in. I've got nothing in Endurance. No Endurance perks. And I've got a choice of three different Intelligence ones. I might as well go for First Aid, just in case. And I can't unlock Through Hiker yet, but I can put Farmer Farmer in. So I'd say another point in Strength, then I'll pick myself an Endurance perk. Because that means I can put any of these... Oh, I don't particularly like any of these. So instead we go back to strength, and I think I'll take a rank of Travelling Pharmacy? I mean, Slugger's likely going to be handy. It does open up two-handed melee weapons, but Travelling Pharmacy as well is going to be incredibly helpful. Because reducing weight of chems, yeah. Let's do that straight away. Because I'll show you quickly how much a Stimpak weighs. A standard Stimpak weight is one! Which is not ideal. So being able to put that in and have a stim pack suddenly weigh 0.7 is much more helpful. Now, on to workshops. These are really, really cool. They're like settlements in Fallout 4, but public and open to anyone. And ooh, sometimes have Nuka Cola Quantums in them. Excellent. Yeah, you can claim them and just be like, yep, this is mine. Someone else can take them over. Oh, the game had a bit of a weird lag, but I don't know why I picked those shotgun shells up. I'm just going to drop them. But yeah, it's now telling me to, oh, pick up a supply drop and claim the workshop. And wow, fancy stuff's going on here. I'm going to get rid of that quest telling me to claim a workshop, but where's this supply drop? As if that's, that's not too far away. You know what? We'll come back to this place. We'll come back here, because there's a supply drop to get. And it's not far away, and supply drops sometimes have good weapons in them. I'll come back for you, Protectron. Trust me, I will kill you soon. Yeah, that's less than 100 metres away. We're going to that. Ooh. Time-wasting Wombat. Give him a salute. Don't know who that is, but it was friendly. Yeah, I, I hear some people talking about, like, running into terrible people online. Pretty much everyone I've met has been incredibly nice, which has been just great fun. Because it means you just salute at people, help each other out. Even when people aren't the most helpful, they're not like pricks towards you or anything. I've just remembered I actually have to wait for the supply drop to land. So, aha! There we go, didn't take too long. 
I was literally talking about it and it happened. So let's grab the supply drop and see if there's anything good inside because, well, robot guarding it is dead. I'm guessing time wasting wombat has already been here, but look at that. All stuff I want plus, I hit space bar and... Okay, I don't get anything, but I could have got some extra chems out of it due to farmer farmer. Now, back to the workshop. Ooh, and talking about workshops and stuff, someone has set up a camp here. So yeah, they've got machine gun turrets, and what's this thing? They've got like weird walls here, with hooks on them. That's... Strange. Oh, and they've put traps down. That's... It's not quite so nice. Have they locked their door? They've locked their door as well, so you get told off if you break in. But they've left the cooking station outside for people to use, which is rather nice. Yeah, I've never actually bothered locking my ones in the past. Oh god, bad camera, bad camera, bad camera, it doesn't like being there. Yeah, I've never really locked up my workstations or camps or stuff, because it's not that needed. Also, worst trap ever, I can totally just steal that concrete if I wanted to. Which is tempting. I might leave a pole in the... In the section for it. Ooh! Poster! I can turn on and off. Nice. Um, I might leave like a pole up in the top right corner asking if I should go like down the raider route or not. Because I could do it. I could just like steal stuff from people. It's surprisingly easy to do. But at the same time I feel I shouldn't. And oh wait wait wait. We were going to head over to that place and... Yeah if I kill all the enemies there I gain a bit of XP. So I'll just kill them quickly. Oh! I think they might have all just died because yep. I just gained some experience and... Stuff. Yeah, I'm not worried about claiming it though. I'm sure that other guy is probably going to take it instead. So what I'm going to do is just head back to the main quest over here and run back towards Morgantown. Oh dear. First place. Oi! I'm getting a shot! Oh, shot at. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, oh it's up top. Okay, we've got scorched at this uh, train yard here. Where. Wait, where's the stairs up to him? Over from inside the building. Okay, we're just going to have to go all out. Oh, nice. Why do I pick up the ammo still? I'm too used to picking up ammo. God, but yeah, the plus 20% damage and all of the things into strength. Oh, a boss enemy! These ones are tougher, but often drop loot. Like that one did. Ow. And nice, you've got a machete. Let's pick that up. Oh, a level 6. That's as high as I am. Oi! Jeez, he just properly hit me. Let's... Oh, God, I haven't got my... Hotkeys out like I like them. Oi, you can die as well. Alright, anyone else fancy funneling in? Perfect. Yeah, you just try it. Okay, who else we got? We've got more of them. Pick up a gas canister whilst I'm here. You can die. Oi, why didn't that do damage? Die now. Thank you. There's another one down, and you round the corner. Get chopped. Yes! Jumping melee strike. Perfect. Um... I suppose we'll take that frying pan. Why not? Yeah, take all of this stuff whilst we're here. Apparently there's re responder caches in this area, which we may as well grab. Now, if you haven't noticed in the previous two episodes, it's very easy to get distracted in this game. Oh, a stealth boy! Incredibly easy to get distracted in this game. There is a lot to do. Like, a lot, a lot to do. Let's... Is there someone else here? I'm pretty sure that thing just died. Yeah, one of them definitely died without my intervention. I think... There might be someone else here. I don't know. We should be perfectly safe, though. Nobody's gonna want to kill me. I'm just some lowly level 6 character. I am not a threat to anyone. It'll be fine. And here we are at one of the many, many entrances to, um... Morgantown Airport. There's like a half dozen ways you can easily get into this place that are like designated. Yep, this is how you enter. And this is not how I entered first time. And I'm not even sure this is an entrance I knew about. But yep, Morgantown Airport has been discovered. This is one of my favourite locations in the entire game. It's possibly where I've spent the most time as well. Hey, and there's a case of Farmer Farmer actually... Farmer Farmer? Yeah, Farmer Farmer actually doing its job. Yeah, and you, Mr. Scorcher, are unarmed, so you can get chopped up, and you are also unarmed, so how about you get chopped up too? Sweet. And there will be a lot of killing Scorched happening, continually, 
throughout the entire playthrough, because that's what a lot of this game is. Like, Scorched remain enemies forever. And, ooh, we use this terminal, and apparently we can open up the safe. Yeah, safe control. Disengage lock. Perfect. And jump out of that, and bosh. Some free stuff. And another supply requisition, yay! Now, before I actually head inside of the airport, I'm going to go to the station, which is, yeah, I literally did a little loop all around this area. That's not a good camera angle to do, Sarge. So let's just switch back to first person. Yeah, I did a little loop to get around. And now... Do, 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 um, I was hoping for more stuff, but yeah, I'll take the oil canister from the lady. She doesn't require it anymore. I can search this bag and not get anything. Yeah, I'm literally just going to loot a whole bunch of stuff, break it down for scrap, and maybe sell a couple of bits too. Because there's always vendors at these uh, train stations, which is lovely. Isn't it, Vendorbot? Yeah, he's just got supplies and stuff. Yeah, there's... I'm pretty sure there's a crafting station at every one as well. I'm not 100% on that, but I can't remember ever being to one where I haven't found a crafting station. Oh dear! Um, I was just going through my inventory, it's only been like 20 seconds, and there's suddenly a 30 second warning for shutdown imminent. So, we'll pick up this next part at a later date, because yeah, the servers are shutting down. Um, this is weird. Very weird, that's only 30 seconds notice, jeez. Come on, game. What are you doing to me? Hello, everyone, and welcome back to... Why am I doing an intro? We've already done this. Yeah, it's the second half. I've been away for, like, 20 minutes odd. Just and the servers are back up and everything seems fine. I have no idea how long we were shut down for, but it doesn't appear to be too long. So, back outside Morgantown Airport. It has turned to night time, though. So it'll be, like, a couple of seconds in the edit, but that's going to suddenly switch from day to night. Which will be a bit strange. Yeah, you can oi, get whacked if you don't mind. Or even if you do. Oh, you are also going to try and chop me up a bit, are you? And you can see, yeah, you can see the bleed damage there working on him as well. You're just going to bleed out. Yeah, you are. Oh, and he's got a fire axe. I do quite like the fire axe, even if it is a little bit slow. Okay, let's run in here and see if anyone wants to come over. Yeah, you come over here. Oi. No, don't you run away. Don't you run away, Mr. Scorched. Okay, is there one in here? There's not one in here. Let's go around the edge. Ooh, trying to be... Oi! Sneaky. Oh, no, you don't. Yeah, you die like everyone else. And you get bit... Oh, I don't have enough for a power attack. Don't have enough for a power attack. Ow, need to... Cool. I auto-stimmed. Good armor. My armor automatically uses it to sim pack if need be. Which reminds me, I actually need to switch things over a bit. So that I've got my hotkeys all set up. So I can use my stim packs easier. So I'm just going to do that quick. Alright, inside the airport now. And it looks like... Oh, okay, something's been doing a bit of killing. But there's still definitely stuff alive. Bad scorched. Ooh, some fancy uh, snack cakes. And you can die as well, because you're... Yeah, barely going to be able to get up before that happens. I'm just going to rush through and try and kill everything before it gets to me, because... Nope, die! Out. Okay, he's got a pickaxe. I'm making sure to pick up... Oi! All of the melee weapons, because they could come in very handy, even if it's literally just breaking them down to get mods. That way, if I end up with, like, a legendary one of a type, I'll be able to mod it out, which will be very handy. Okay, into the responders bit, and I've got a very patient Scorched here, who waited for me to do my power attack before properly engaging. And another another Overseer's Log. I do apologise that you're probably not hearing these, but I cannot get them to play loudly, which is a bit of a pain. Cool. Tentative plans is finished. Oh, the Overseer's still talking, is she? Wow. She goes on for a bit, doesn't she? Yep, yeah, but there's um stuff infecting stuff, is what you need to know. And once again, I'm getting a lot of quests. But I don't need. Alrighty, we've got two different plans. Uh, two different plans, two different quests. We've got tentative plans, which is investigating campsite and final departure, which yeah is just over there, very close by. So we're going to run over to that one. Hopefully, not run into too many scorched him away because I've actually been eating through healing items a fair amount. Sounds like yeah, the turret up there is still working. So we've got something to cover our backs at least, and you, no, you want to, 
Always hit them at least once, because then you get the experience. If you don't hit them at all, you get nothing. So you actually do have to get involved in the fight if you want to level up. Which is a key part of this game. There we go. Final departure is completed literally just by reading stuff on this terminal, saying, oh yeah, there's Scorched and we're working on an inoculation project so that you don't get turned into the Scorched because it's a horrible disease and ah, panic, 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 panic. There's a bunch of caps and stuff. And the Somerset Special. Yeah, you get the Somerset Special really early on. I forgot just how early you get this thing. And yeah, an ounce of prevention, which is um a quest to get you... um prevented from becoming Scorched, which happens all the way over here. Quite far away from where we are now. So we're probably going to go to the Investigate one instead. I've put on a little cop uniform here, Responder Policeman. It, it looks kind of comical in my eyes, especially on my big brute of a guy. It's not exactly the most fitting thing, but you know, it's, it's, it's funny cop stuff. Ha 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 ha. Oi! I said it was funny, I didn't say you could shoot me. It's a bit over the top. This is really, really not particularly nice of you, Scorch, to have suddenly appeared and want me dead. It's like, seriously, there's other stuff you could have done. You could have just said hi. Okay, run at you, chop. Nope. Okay, I need to learn how to block. I think that's my next big goal, because... Ow! Okay, power attack. Um, nope. Okay. Is everything dead? Not quite. There's still one of them around somewhere. Um, where though? Oh, you've run up here, have you? Oh, someone's... Someone built a little camp here. Oh, we've got... Oh, thank you, sir. Where's a... Is there a bow emote? I need a bow emote. There's not a bow. And he's running off anyway. Okay, let's run over to... Oh, he's there as well. Okay, I'm going to heal up, then I'm going to go over whilst he's not there. Instead, I'm going to investigate this little place, which... Was this here before, or has someone built it? Someone's built this here. Someone has built this here, but it means I've got a place to stay. Because they've just left it open. They have not put much stuff in here. Okay, the thing's been broken, that's why. Alrighty, I've used that person's camp. And now, we're going to run over and say hi to Miguel! That's Miguel. He's Being kind of dead. To your corpse is really rotten, Miguel. I keep hoping that a wolf will stop by and grab your bones, but no such luck. Sigh. Mr. Fluffy's my favorite NPC in this game. He's he's just great. And investigate protector is now a quest. It's not enough that I am tethered to an invisible point forever. But the nickname, so uncouth. None of the other volunteer bots had idiotic names. Yep, uh, Miguel has camp schematics, but poor Mr. Fluffy. He's... he's lovely. I like Mr. Fluffy. <laughs> he hates his entire existence. He's trapped there forever. He can't move from Miguel. He's literally tethered to Miguel, and Miguel is dead. <laughs> so the projectron's just been left there, waiting to die, and... all collision course has begun. Excellent. Is anyone else here? Oh dear. Okay, come here. Alright, we're gonna fight off waves of Scorch now. And when I say waves, I really do mean just waves and waves and waves of them. And why are my throwing knives not equipped? Okay, every time I load up the game, they've unequipped my throwing knives, which I do not appreciate. At all. Oh, and then I missed. And I missed again. Oh, and there's like an invisible wall here. Okay, that's kind of strange. Okay, leveled up. That's good at least. There we go. And then I get the throwing knife. And... Nope. Back off. Oh, dear. Nope. Bad people. There we go. Dead people. Okay, pick up another machete. There's going to be more of them. Um, have I got diluted stim packs I can use? God, my arm's just flying around. And yeah, that's a Scorch Beast up there. Ignore it, it's fine. Yeah, does I... Diluted stim pack helps me out. Yeah, that's a level 50 Scorch Beast just flying about. They do that sometimes. I wouldn't worry about them. Ah, oh, cool. We've got time to prepare for the next wave. Um, I don't know where the best place for me to go is actually going to be. 
Okay, I'll take the Insta Mash. Um, I normally park myself up here, but yeah, they're actually going to be close to that way. It sounds really close this time. Yeah, it's right overhead. The Scorch Beast doesn't normally get quite that close. I don't know what it's doing, but yeah, I'm pretty sure these things spawn in around this area. So if I stand here, okay, we're all going to spawn just on there. Let's get a throwing knife at the ready, and die, and die, and die. <laughs> yeah, this thing's kind of powerful. Throwing knives, man. Throwing knives are just the best. Look at that. Look at that. That's just beautiful. That's another way for Scorch just dead. Just dead straight away. Which means this event is a very easy one to do if you just have throwing knives. Because that is literally all you need. Man, killing Scorch just never gets old. Come on, buddy. You want to come around the corner. There we go. <laughs> that one got a shot at me. <laughs> Look at the pile of corpses. Okay, you're going to come around too? Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, be scorched. Be scorched right here. They're the real ones to go for. And wow, look at how much stuff you've got. I just heard the death sound of one of them. It's not supposed to happen. Oh, well. Yeah, quite good if I actually needed any of those guns, but I don't. So, ooh, another throwing knife. Make sure to get that. Yeah, it's really, really easy to burn through throwing knives, especially in the early game. Fortunately, I can scrap down a whole bunch of different weapons right here. I haven't learned any mods yet, which is a bit unfair, I think. But at some point, I'll learn a weapon mod as well, and that'll be great for later on. Oh dear, they're actually starting to be a tiny bit smart and dodge around rather than just waiting in line. I guess that means I have to come out and fight them. But fortunately, I spent far too much time playing around with throwing knives in the beta. So I've got... Oh, didn't mean to pick that up. Oh well. So I've got quite good at this. Like, yeah. You're not going to beat me, stupid scorched creatures. I'm one step ahead of you. Always one step ahead of you. Although the huge pile of corpses is a bit of a pain. Because I can't tell which ones I've looted and which ones I haven't. Oh, what the? One of them's glowing green. One of there's a legendary here. Since when does the legendary spawn in? Zealot's Zealot's pickaxe. Oh, we're putting that on right now. Plus thirty percent damage to scorched. Yeah, take this scorched. Wow, I did not know a legendary could spawn in on this one. Where's the? Wait, four meters. No, that one's dead game. That one's very dead. Wow. Got a legendary spawn in. This, the game's being very nice to me, and there's the event completed. Excellent, which means we're now going to get a supply drop. Oh, and there's another Scorched here. So yeah, I'm getting a bunch of rewards. And I'm also... Ooh, combat knife. Nice. Oh, wow. Somebody activated a responder robot. Nope. Yeah, you can try and hit me, buddy. I've got a weapon specifically designed for killing you. So we got ourselves a nice little pickaxe thing, which isn't going to be as good as our machete, unfortunately, but I figure I might as well use it for now. Seeing as it is legendary and all that, and... Yeah, where's... There we go, there's the cargo bot. Hey, Mr. Cargo Bot, are you going to glitch in the ground? Come on, it's funny when you do that. No? Okay, thank you anyway. He <laughs> give him a gentle tap, just to say thank you, and... Ooh, but there we go, he's glitched in the ground! Oh, he loves to do that. Bye bye, Mr. Cargo Bot. He has a friendly face and everything. Yeah, so we get a whole bunch of stuff, and oh, I got a throwing knife in the air. Um, one that I can't get. And doesn't exist. Oh, um, there's another Scorched. Paying far too much attention to the Cargo Bot, <laughs> not enough attention to me. Oh, and there's another one. Yeah, buddy, I'm a bit stronger than you. Wow, be scorched. They don't learn. Now, with that quest out of the way, I can actually go back and, yep, we've got a camp guide program and sweet bean. I don't need that. And, yes, Miguel's terminal for camp schematics. This is just learning about the whole camp system. It's basically, you can build stuff. Look at that. And crafting item, unlock generator medium. Perfect. Give holotape to Miguel's protectron. That is lovely. I thought that was a suit of power armor for a second. 
Yep, and like Mr. Fluffy says, oi, don't, shush, 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 shush. Yeah, and now it tells us to build our camp, uh, here, or somewhere. You can place it somewhere, there'll be something in the way right now. I'm probably too close to the actual quest thing, maybe, no? Okay, I've been able to build this close by before, why is it not wanting me to build the camp? Oh, I'm probably too close to the other person's camp who set their one up right over that away. So if I head off over this way, or not? You know, I'm not actually, yeah, if I put it over here, okay, it was too close to the other person's camp. So I have to build it all the way over here, so it's not right next to their one, which they've conveniently put right in my way. But do I want to do that right now? You know what, I'm pretty sure I actually get the rewards for it. So I may as well build my camp up here. Let's pop this thing right on there. Camp, construction and assembly, mobile problem. Warning, do not use before passing Vault-Tec. Serving survivors, clause plan number 243. I'll assume we did that. There we go. And da -da -da, my camp has been deployed. And does it actually want me to do stuff? Yes, it actually wants me to build stuff. Wait, what do I need to build? What, what do I need to build? Simple stash box and cooking fire. I can do that. That is very simple. Look, we build this here, floating slightly. We build a stash box. Stash box right here. Excellent. And da da da, we hit level 8. Isn't that lovely? It means I can do a bit of cooking as well. And da da da, we get some rewards. Just a whole bunch of scrap, I think. Yeah, literally just a whole bunch of scrap. Cool. But we get the level up, which is the more important thing, because it means another perk pack. We do love perk packs. So, Scrounger, Concentrated Fire, Packing Light, and Picklock. Well, one of those is useful. Um, what does an educated pers person call an insurance policy? Vultec. Ah, oh, Vultec jokes are the best jokes, aren't they? Um, now, what perks do we get unlocked? We get Pack Rat unlocked, which is a good perk, as well as we could get more Travelling Pharmacy. But what else have we got? Half of these don't affect us at all, because they're gum-related. Which is a bit of a pain. Alrighty, I've done a bit of uh, leveling up. I had two levels, so I've now got not even all of my perk points maxed out, but I've got a rank of slugger added in, and I also have the good doggy perk which I selected, because it makes dog food three times as beneficial. And oh, I get the silver lining here, don't I? Yes, that's actually very good. Yeah, plus one endurance, and it's pocketed. Better than my bored leather piece. Perfect. So, we're all kitted out, much better than we were before. How much damage do my weapons do now? My throwing knife's still at 75. 30 damage per hit on my serrated machete. And that does 46 damage per hit with extra against Scorch, so yeah. The pickaxe is pretty decent, actually. I might have to see about modding that out as an anti-scorched weapon. That could be a good shout. However, that is going to be it for now. I don't actually know how long this has been, because, you know, there was a server break in the middle. So this has been two sessions, but one episode. So hopefully it doesn't drag on too long. However, as always, thank you for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Comment with how you think this is going. I've done this all in one recording session, so I'll be slow to update things if there's particular requests, but I will try to. As always, though, thank you very much for watching. Sarge out.